Doris moved among the towering enchantments of old St. Augustine, her hair on a long pigtail, wearing clothing she made of Irish linen. Always, it seemed, in the company of someone who instinctively sought her out to share the treasure of their heart. She would listen ardently to what they said, and they would go away more graceful for having been listened to by this creature who spurned the pipe, who spurned the bottle, who loved the salt air and the sunlight, and who hated only cruelty. She who died at the hands of one of those with whom she walked, who now lies buried in St. Augustine, and is remembered by poems and elegies and eulogies, by paintings and statuary. For the ancient city is a place of artists and writers, as well as fools and fishermen. Doris wound the bishop's clock she served him macaroons and tea She bought him oysters at the dock At night she came to me Graceful as a pharaoh's daughter Bringing life inside ground she brought me green to the Spanish water showed me bridges out of town and we often spoke of towers and of patriarchs and powers and of how the angels hurt and where the haints and vandals turned, we'd listen to the candles burn. And we'd measure Irish linen for a shirt. I wonder still if love can win. I work the earth and peel my brain. While Doris mounts the wave within my ocean dream Her pain like bubbles on a dolphin's breath As lanterns hiss and pirates kneel To murder one who danced with death before the years of wine and steel And we often spoke of towers and of patriarchs and powers And of how the angels hurt And where the hates and vandals turn We'd listen to the candles burn And we'd measure Irish linen for a shirt Now the snow lies over hollow ground And jewels glitter in the choir Walls and mirrors crashing down Tonight the poet drags for higher the soul believer drives a hack and he whips his ponies to a spray and tongueless lovers bear their backs and mad dogs guard artillery 